next guest this evening is the host of Comedy Central's Tompkins Square. Please welcome a very funny man, Jeffrey Ross. What's up, everybody? How are you? Good, cool, yeah? Thanks, man. That was awesome. Oh, man, you guys cheered me up. I wrecked my car. I hit a deer. 34th and Broadway. How the hell does that happen? The guy went out and squeegeed the deer right off. I bet you the deer was working with the squeegee guy. It's a scam a minute in this city, everybody. And I jumped in a cab. The cab driver fasted. His last name was 15 letters long. I memorized it, I think. S-U-V-A-N-T-H-A-R-A-R-A-J-A-H. I asked him how he pronounces it, and his head exploded. I don't know. I love you guys. Could I just say that? And worst thing ever, my aunt died. 104 years old. 104. We called her Aunt Teak. Her phone number was 11. 71811. She found in Brooklyn. And it's my job to clean out our apartment, right? That's the worst job ever, right? So I call my cousin to help me out, my cousin Stu. My cousin Stu's the biggest loser in the world. This cat's 45 years old, he lives with his parents, and they live with their parents. I'm like, Stu, I call him, I'm like, wake up, man, you gotta wake up. Antique died, she was 104. And I swear he goes, how'd she die? Childbirth, Stu. She gave birth to an 80-year-old boy. How'd she die? Her motorcycle flipped over on the Jersey Turnpike. She was trampled at a Metallica concert, okay? Now you know. She broke her hip doing the Macarena, you moron. How'd she die? She scored some bad crack. They found her in Newark. It's not funny, okay? She was a bodyguard for Tupac. Now you know, all right? How'd she die? Her chute wouldn't open. You know, she really died for real. She turned 104, the whole family took a vote, and we shot her. <laughs> How long can you wait for five grand in a coin collection? You tell me, party people, huh? She left me a TV, you know, an old person's TV, two stations, both black and white. Still gets the Ed Sullivan show. How the hell is that work? <laughs> it's Valentine's Day tomorrow. That's kind of cool, huh? Yeah. I got a girlfriend, first time in a long time. And uh, we got cute little pet names for each other. I call her my fuzzy little teddy bear. She calls me big fat cash machine. <laughs> but she's got the secret code to my heart, right? That's all that counts. What else has happened? I was watching the president this week, the State of the Union address, thinking, you know, uh, you know, I wish this whole Ebonics thing would come to happen, you know what I mean? Because it would be kind of fascinating. We, the whole country, if Ebonics happened, you know what I'm talking about, the language of the street? The whole country would have to embrace it as a new language. The president would have to embrace it as a new language. Imagine that, addressing Congress. My fellow Americans, Senate in the House, House in the House, representing... Treasury in the house, make money, 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 make money, money. Four score and seven years ago, back in the day, our forefathers bum rushed some Indians. Now these third world countries got mad bombs, yo. I'd like to say to the Speaker of the House, Newt Gingrich, we may have our differences at times, but you still might. New keeping it real. Oh, excuse me one second. Paula Jones, booty call. I'd like to give a shout out to Vice President Gore. Big ups to my wife, Hillary, the first gangster bitch. As you go through life, people, always ask not what the man can do for you. Ask what you can do for the man. You guys have been a great crowd. Thanks, everybody. Happy birthday, sis. Thanks, brother. Nice job, my Thanks, friend. Man. Jeffrey Ross, everybody. We'll take a little break. We'll be right back. Stick around.
everybody. We're back. I'm sitting here with Jeffrey Ross. That was very fun. Thanks, Thanks for doing it. And, uh, you know, you mentioned over there Valentine's Day coming yeah, up tomorrow. tomorrow. I understand you have... Um, it's a special time for you, and you've actually prepared. Is that yeah? Is that I, wrote the case? A, I wrote a couple love poems. Can I try them? Yeah, sure. All That's right. what this this show is about: spreading love. Can we uh, can we dim the lights a little bit? Get romantic. Oh. <laughs> perfect, right there. That's perfect. Dim the lights, Liz. I'm just teasing. A little right. background piano, maybe. I want to set the mood. You know. Oh. That's beautiful. Uh, There's a poem, that my, a love poem that my uh, dad wrote for my mom. It's called Enough with the Bread Already. <laughs> Your smile blooms like a bright summer flower. Your hair flows down like a soft rain shower. Your eyes are like open seas, blue from coast to coast. So how come your ass looks like a truck? <laughs> Enough with the bread already. Can I have a hug? That was nice. A little hug. Thanks, man. Man. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. But in all fairness, here's what my mom wrote back to my dad. Okay, good. In rebuttal. Okay. It's called, Put a Shirt On, You're Scaring the Children. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, and you love me, but you eat like you have two colons. <laughs> Put a shirt on, you're scaring the children. <laughs> and put some pants on, you're teasing the dog. <laughs> well, very nice. I want to buy the line. <laughs> you eat like you have two colons. All right. Uh, Jeffrey Ross is going to be at Cobb's Comedy Club in San Francisco. That was so funny, I want to fly out. February 26th through March 2nd. Check him out. Jeffrey Ross, thanks, thanks very much. Man. Very thanks funny. Good me. job. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. We'll see you guys in a second. Everybody, uh, that is our show for the evening. Our apologies to Jennifer Lopez. We ran out of time, but we'll have her back real soon. I do want to thank uh, my other guest, Jeffrey Ross. Thanks, thanks so much for thanks coming. For Very funny. Thanks. Happy Valentine's Day. Our thanks to Siskel and Ebert. Of course, the lovable Andy Richter, the beloved Max Weinberg and his Max Weinberg 7. Good night, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.